everybody, it's Paige, and today's video is going to be part four of my makeup declutter series. I am so excited. We are getting there, we are almost done. In today's video, we are doing lip products, and I'm honestly scared. I am scared. I asked you guys if we should do lip products or eyeshadow palettes next, and I got a very mixed opinion, but I saw a couple of comments telling me to save eyeshadow palettes for last, so I figured that would be our grand finale. I will have all of the other parts linked in the description box in case you guys haven't seen them yet but if you guys are new to my channel don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy and let's go ahead ouch <laughs> and get started all right so for lips we have an interesting situation so I actually have lip products out here and then I have the rest of my lip products down here for the most part I ended up having to take all of these out of their drawers so that I could put like my foundations and setting sprays and stuff since I'm like rearranging the drawers but my new lip drawers currently have stuff in them so this is gonna be a lip drawer this is going to be a lip drawer and then these two will also be lip drawers so i think first i'm going to clear out the drawers and then we will start going through the lip products here is a reminder of what my drawers will look like so as you can see i have lip balm lip gloss lipstick and liquid lipstick over in this first unit so that will take up four drawers and then the bottom one doesn't have a name yet so we'll kind of play it by ear and see what we will put in there okay so now all four of the lip drawers are empty so we can start organizing i think i'm gonna start off with lip balms since that's going to be this top drawer here. So I'm going to gather up my lip balms from this pile as well as up here. And we will go through those first. Alright, so I think most of this stuff right here is lip balms, lip scrubs, lip treatments, that kind of thing. So this is what I'm going to go through first. I know there's a couple of things in here that I'm just going to keep for sure right away. So I'm going to go ahead and grab those out. So we have like these Laneige lip sleeping masks. I love these. I have sweet candy, apple lime. This one is mint chocolate. We've got vanilla. And then I have some little minis over here. Again, I'm gonna keep these little minis. I have the original berry flavor. I have a mini sweet candy. This one is grapefruit. And this one is a mini apple lime. I also have my Laneige Glowy Lip Balms. These things are amazing and I love these. I'm definitely keeping them. I have four flavors here. We have pear, berry, gummy bear, and grapefruit. I think I have another one, but I don't know where it is. But these are so awesome. I love throwing these in my purse. Um, so I'm definitely keeping those. I'm going to keep this Lizzie McGuire lip scrub from ColourPop. And then we'll move on to this section over here. I have my Sol de Janeiro lip balms along with my Brazilian Kiss lip butter from Sol de Janeiro. All of these products I am keeping. I need to start doing better, <laughs> um, but not right now. So this is the Glow Recipe Lip Pop. I am going to keep that. This is a baby oh my gosh baby lips from Maybelline I think I can go ahead and pass that along I definitely don't need that um what else can I get rid of I have this sugar rush lip balm um I probably don't need that so that can go I have a couple of Kopari lip glossies I have one and I think it's in my purse so I think I'll keep one extra and declutter the other I have the birthday suit lip glossy which I'm gonna keep There are a couple of things in here that are not a <laughs> little lip balm related. Okay, so I found my Kopari lip glossies. <laughs> here they are. Um, this is the original one. This is the one that I thought might be in my purse, but I have that. I also have a Sangria one, which is this middle shade, and then that's the birthday suit one. This is the Bite Beauty Agave Intensive Lip Mask. 
I probably don't need this. I can declutter that. I also have this from Bite Beauty. Um, I've never used it. Whoops, the little thing just fell. I've never used it, um, so I think I can go ahead and pass that along. I'd probably use my Laneige over that. I also have this from Bite Beauty. This is a Line and Define Lip Primer. I'm just I don't think I'm gonna use this. I think this is a MAC like lip primer as well. Again, I don't think I'm gonna use it, so I'm gonna declutter those. I actually have quite a few lip scrubs, not as many as I used to. I have the Unicorn and Galaxy from Lush. Um, this is new, this is from Kaja. I think on top is a lip balm, and then underneath here is a lip scrub so i definitely want to keep that i'm gonna keep my tatcha lip mask this ula Henriksen one is kind of old i feel like i could probably get rid of that i have my fresh sugar lip balms we have lemon and peach and then i have a little mini caramel one so these are all gonna stay then i have my glacierbalm.com lip balms i have the berrybalm.com birthday balm and rose balm i'm gonna keep all three of those this is the kylie skin hydrating lip mask i'm gonna go ahead and keep that i'm also gonna keep this little milk makeup and this morphe 2 lip mask aquaphor is a must i'm gonna keep that i have this mac lip scrub which i think is oh candied nectar i think i might keep that one but then i have this ColourPop lippy scrub which uh, it's peach bellini it's called bellini bb um i'm gonna declutter that then I have this lip balm, lippy balm from ColourPop. I'm just gonna go ahead and declutter it. I wanna keep it, but I don't need it. This is the Red or Die Lip Balm in Mighty Mint from e.l.f. I'm gonna keep that. I have my Algenist Genius Liquid Collagen Lip. I need to use this up because that's pretty old. I have this little Sephora lip scrubber that I'm gonna keep. This Rose Petal Soft Lip Cream. Since I've used it, um, I think I'm gonna keep it and continue to try that out. And then I have this Buxom lip balm, which honestly I can probably declutter. This is pretty old. So I didn't do the best, but it definitely could have been a lot worse. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna go ahead and organize my lip balms into here and then um, the potted stuff will just kind of sit in the drawer on its own. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys the drawers at the end since I kind of have the camera already set up here. But here is a look at everything that I decluttered from my lip balm drawer. Again, not a bunch, but hopefully we are more successful in some of the other categories. So let's move on. Next, I think we'll do liquid lipsticks. So we may come across some other liquid lipsticks along the way, but I'm pretty sure this is the majority of them. Um, but I just wanted to mention these lip palettes from Pixie. These are like little lip palettes, I guess. Dulce's Lip Candy Sugar and Spice and Get the Look, It's Lip Time. I'm just going to go ahead and declutter these since I never use this just like format of lip product. So those two can go. Okay, um, this is very overwhelming. So first off, we have these little mini liquid lips from Kylie Cosmetics. These are literally so cute. I'm going to zoom you guys in um, a little bit. Uh, so yeah, these are so adorable. I want to keep them, but I don't need them, so those three can go. I have this NARS liquid lip, which I definitely want to keep. I have these liquid cat suits from Wet n Wild. Um, I don't know. I think I'll keep the pink color, and I will declutter this. Uh, no, I'm gonna keep both of them. Oh man, I almost did it. <laughs> I almost did it, but I couldn't. I couldn't. I have these two little mini Huda Beauty liquid lips that I'm gonna keep. And then I have these Pixie. I don't even know what these are. I think they're kind of like a whipped formula, and these colors are really pretty, but I kind of think I don't need them. Like, I don't really wear colors that often, and I never reach for these, so I'm gonna go ahead and declutter these. I told you guys I was gonna do better this round. I told you. I have a ton of Laura Lee Los Angeles liquid lips. 
um, as well as Dragon Beauty. And these Dragon Beauty ones are still new. That color is so pretty. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to do. Those are the colors. I think what I'm going to do is keep the Laura Lee ones. I know I have some of these colors, but... I've probably had them for a while, so I could probably replace um, some of the ones I have with these newer ones. So I'm going to keep the Laura Lee ones. I also have two right here. I love Laura Lee's liquid lipstick formula. And for the Dragon Beauty ones, I definitely don't need Dragon's or Dragon Blood. That's like a red color. I definitely don't need that one, so that one can go. Um, this is like a pinky purpley one. That one can go, but I will keep the nude color. I'm also going to keep this NYX thing that I bought because of TikTok. I want to put that in a video. I just haven't gotten the chance to yet. All right, so moving on, we have this front, uh-oh, little section here, which has some stuff that isn't really liquid lips. I have these Carly Bible Ill Maquillage Lip Products which these are really nice and I think she actually just did another collab with them so I am going to keep those but maybe put them in a different drawer. I also have the lip gloss. There's another lip gloss somewhere. Here it is. These two which I'm going to keep and then I have a bunch of these Bobbi Brown crushed lip crushed liquid lips. Um, this mini one I'm going to go ahead and declutter. But these ones, I don't know if I'm ready to let go of them yet. Let me smell them. They don't smell bad. Um, so I think I'm going to keep them. And then moving on to the main section here. I have a ton of these Revlon liquid lips that I got in a PR package, which I definitely don't need all of them. So let's go through the colors. So here are all of the colors that I have. I kind of like the idea of a true red, so maybe I'll keep the true red. The orange one can go. Um, so let's do like middle is we're going through it. Oh, y'all can't even see that. Top is we're keeping. Bottom is we're not keeping. <laughs> um, this purple one I can get rid of. That one I feel like I should keep. This one is really fun. I kind of want to keep it. This brown color I can get rid of. Maybe I'll keep that one and get rid of this one. I feel like that's okay. I'll get rid of four, these four, and I'll keep five. I have a bunch of Lunar Beauty liquid lips, which of course I am keeping. I'm going to go ahead and grab those out. My Morphe liquid lips, again I am keeping. This is Virgin, and then I think this one's called Hot Shot. Yes, Virgin and Hot Shot are my two favorites. I have a bunch of Ofra liquid lips, which I'm going to keep. This Giorgio Armani I will keep. The Maybelline ones I definitely will keep. I have an extra Morphe. This one I can go ahead and get rid of. I just never use it. This is going to be painful. I have these Glitter Flip liquid lips from Ciate. These are so old. They need to go. But the packaging is so beautiful. But I'm going to go ahead and get rid of them because they are way too old and I literally never use those. I'm gonna keep the MAC. I have these NARS ones, which honestly I'm never gonna use, so those can go. I have some Koki liquid lips. I'll keep the red and the lightest one, and then I will declutter the two middle ones. Another Maybelline one. This one is from Glam Light. Um, I don't think I need the Glam Light one, so I'll declutter that. I have a bunch of these Dominique, actually I only have two, Dominique Cosmetics. I feel like these are really old, so I think I'll just pass those along. I have a KVD one that I recently, well, sort of recently purchased. I have some Kylie ones. I kind of want to keep the Kylie ones. I don't know. I have one Believe Beauty, and then the rest of these are ABH, which... Uh, <laughs> let me look at these. There are so many pretty nude colors, like that one I'm going to keep. This is hard. I actually kind of want to keep all of them. Okay, I'm going to put this stuff back and really, like, think about it as I'm doing so. Um, and we'll see how this goes. We'll see if I can get rid of anything additional. I 
think I'm going to get rid of my Kylie liquid lips since I don't even know if these are still available. If you go to the Kylie Cosmetics website, it just says something is coming. So um, I don't even know if these are available. So these four are going to go. So this is what I have left. Oops, I have one more. This is that Dragon Beauty. I'm just going to put that on top. You can kind of see the range of colors that I am drawn towards um but I did keep a couple of like fun unique shades so I'm pretty happy with this um I'll show you guys everything that I am decluttering here are all of the liquid lips that I'm getting rid of most of them well I would say it's like some of them are new and okay to use and then some of them are old and probably not okay to use so it's probably about 50 50 um but I'm pretty happy with this next we're moving on to lipsticks lip liners and like lip pencil type things like this so here's a bunch of lip liners and lip pencils um most of my lip liners I keep up on my desk these are pretty much Morphe and Mac so honestly I'm gonna keep all of them. Um, I love the Morphe lip liner formula. They are four dollars and they're huge and there's so many different colors. The formula is great. So I think all of these are Morphe except for like one or two and those ones are MAC. So I usually keep these in my liquid lipstick drawer. I'm gonna set aside the like bullet lipsticks for a second because most of the ones I have are off camera. I have these Buxom lip products, which, oh, this is like a lip balm. Oh, it's a lip scrub. That's cool. What is this one? This one, ooh, that's like a pretty nude color. And then this one is like a purpley color. Okay, I'm gonna keep those three. I have a Christian Louboutin lip liner, which I spent a crazy amount of money on and I'm keeping it. <laughs> um, I have some nude sticks stuff, which I got recently. So I'm gonna keep all these little mini nude sticks things. This lipstick is from Gucci, so I'm gonna keep the Gucci one. This is from Maybelline. I actually just recently picked this up, so I'm gonna keep that. This is an eye pencil, so that's not even in the right section. Um, I have these Morphe lip pencil things. That is such a pretty color. This one is in the shade Thanks, T-H-X. And then this one is called YOLO. Ooh, that's a cool cherry. This is a Moondust lip product in the shade Rising. This is like a really glittery lip product. This Maybelline one I'm gonna keep. I have a couple of Buxom ones. I'm gonna keep the Buxom and then I have a bunch of <laughs> Laura Mercier, which I wanna keep these, but I think I'll just keep like two. I'm gonna keep this color because it's like so fun. This one is in the shade Click, I think. And then this one is in the shade Bring It. This is like a fun pink color. You know what, actually, no, that's right. Okay, I'll keep those two and then I'll get rid of these four. That was rough. I barely got rid of anything. Moving on to this thing here. I have a bunch of these Fenty lipsticks, which it's finally time that I get rid of some of these. Ooh. Holy frick, that is insane. That is such a pretty color. This one is like a brown. I definitely don't need the brown, so that one can go. This one is a dark purpley brown. I don't need that one, so that one can go. This one is blue. <laughs> I don't need the blue one. This one is probably the most wearable. So maybe I'll keep that one. And then I have Trophy Wife, which is so freaking pretty. So I'll keep that one. So I kept three and I got rid of three. I have my Jaclyn Cosmetics lipsticks. Oh man, I would love for her to relaunch these because the colors and the formula was phenomenal. I'm, I keep them because of the packaging and they're just so beautiful and I don't know. I just, I enjoy those. Um, I do have these Marc Jacobs ones, which are probably all discontinued. I actually used to use these a lot. I love the packaging, but I'm going to pass them along. I'm going to do it. Those are going. 
Next, I have this little guy here, which has mostly Charlotte Tilbury, which is staying. We've got Sephora Collection, Ilya, oh, that's so pretty, Gucci, Buxom, NARS, this one, uh, I can get rid of the Bite Beauty one. Oh, I used to love this color. This is Baddest Beige from Maybelline. We've got Snob from MAC. These are all such good colors. Oh yes, Untold Stories, are you kidding me? And then this one is from Dose of Colors. It's called Glazed. The color is beautiful. So I'm gonna keep all of those. And then last, we have this lipstick container here. Um, so I'm gonna keep the MAC shades. I have Spirit. What does Spirit look like? Ooh, that's pretty. I feel like that probably came in a boxy charm. I have Creme de Nude and I have Whirl classic shade those three are staying i have a ton of these laura mercier ones so i just have to go through and look this one is so pretty this is called beige in time that one's my favorite i remember this one is really pretty i think i'll pass this one along and then i have a red that i'll pass along another red that i can pass along and another red that I can pass along. I am gonna keep this color because it's really fun, so I'll keep two. I love my um, Sephora collection lipsticks, which this is one of them actually. So that goes there. Those are all gonna stay. I have Morphe. Oh, that red is beautiful. I think this one is probably my favorite. This one is called Forevs. I've used it like so much. So I'm gonna keep all of those. I have these. Oh, these are Revlon. I'm gonna keep the Revlon and I'll bring this Revlon over here. I have these Kylie Cosmetics ones. These ones can go. This YSL one is so special to me. I am definitely keeping this. Um, it says 100k, 1126, 2019. This is when I hit 100k subscribers. So special. One of my subscribers actually sent me that. I'm going to move the MAC lipsticks because I have some other MAC lipsticks in the smaller one over here. I have this Natasha Denona lipstick that I bought, which I am keeping. This Wet n Wild one, I'm gonna keep and put it there. I have two XO Beauty lipsticks, which are both really pretty like nude shades, so I'm gonna keep those. And I definitely can get rid of some of, whoops, these Buxom lipsticks. I have a ton. So this one is Heartthrob. This is a fantastic shade, one of my favorites. Then we've got Fly Girl, another beautiful nude. This one is called Dreamboat. This is like a brown kind of color. I think I can pass that one along. This one is called Pop Star. I can pass that one along. This one is called Supermodel. I'm gonna keep that one. This one is Angel. I can pass that along. This one is Goddess. This is like my favorite one, I think. This one or Heartthrob, so I'm gonna keep that. Then we've got Influencer, which is really pretty, like purpley shade. I'm gonna keep that. Then we've got Icon. This is a cool peachy shade. And then this one is called Boss which I will keep. So we emptied out an entire row here. I do have a couple of lipsticks. I have this Milani one. I also have some that don't fit. Do, do these fit in here? Oh, they do fit. Well, do these fit in here? Not really. I have some lipsticks that don't fit in these. Um, so I'm gonna have to figure out what to do with those. And they also don't even fit in this. Oh, these ones do. But the Huda Beauty ones don't really fit. Oh, uh, no, they don't really fit in here. So I actually decided to get rid of these two Fenty lipsticks as well. So I'm only going to keep the Trophy Wife one. So here is everything from that drawer that I'm de decluttering. Again, not like the most successful thing. Um, but I'm still proud of it. And last, we have lip glosses, which is my <laughs> biggest category. So I definitely need to get rid of a lot of lip glosses. All right guys, so we are on the last category, which is lip gloss. Here is my lip gloss organizer. Not all of them are gonna fit in here because some of them are like just too chunky. Like the Fenty ones don't really fit well. Like I could probably wedge it in there, but 
that wouldn't be good. So, um, I'll probably have to put the chunkier lip glosses in one of my other lip drawers, but this is what we're working with. So let's go ahead and get started. I think I'm gonna start with the organizer here and then we will move on to the stuff that's like on the floor over here. So first off, I have my Alomar Cosmetics lip glosses. I love these, but you can't really see them. Um, this is their new packaging and this is their older packaging. I am gonna keep all of those. I'm also gonna keep all of my Morphe lip glosses. I love the Morphe lip gloss formula, um, so I have them in this second row here. And I actually have some other Morphe glosses. I think I have a couple laying around that I can add. Okay, so all of those Morphe glosses are good. Then I have Pixie, which <laughs> this is going to be hard for me to get rid of anything from Pixie. My Kylie Cosmetics gloss I can get rid of. I'm actually gonna go ahead and get rid of all of these Kaleidos lip products because I literally never use them. I have all of my Potassium Cosmetics glosses here. I've got Artist Couture glosses here, which these are really old and they just need to go. Like they're way too old. <laughs> I kept them for too long, so those can go. I have some Iconic London glosses, which are beautiful. I'm definitely gonna keep those. I have some more um, Kaleidos lippies down here that I'm gonna get rid of. This is a Glam Light gloss. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that. Um, this is a Revlon lip polish. I don't think I'm ever gonna wear that color, so that can go. CoverGirl can stay. This is a lip balm. I didn't really like this, so I'm gonna get rid of it. I just, it was really thick, and I wasn't a super fan of the color either, so um, I think I'm just gonna get rid of that. This Kylie gloss I'm gonna get rid of. Ooh, these Laura Mercier ones are so pretty. Definitely keeping those. My lifter gloss can go in here. This is from, I think this is Makeup Revolution. Yeah, that can stay. Potassium Cosmetics. I have these Morphe glosses here, which I'm going to get rid of. Those are from the Sweetie collection. I also have the Coca-Cola lip glosses, which I just never use anymore. So those can go. I have another one too that can go. This is an older Alomar Cosmetics lip product. I'm gonna pass that along. I have my e.l.f. lip glosses, which I absolutely love. Oh, this Glam Light one I'm gonna get rid of. The e.l.f. Plumping lip gloss is amazing. Champagne Glam, I love. So this can go here. Then I just recently bought this one. This one is in the shade Pink Cosmo, another really pretty like milky color. This is a purple gloss that I'm probably never gonna use, so I'm gonna get rid of that. I have some of the Mint, like Elf Mint lip plumping glosses from the Mint collection. And this is a prismatic gloss. Uh, I probably won't use that, so I'll get rid of that. I have my Kaja lip glosses, which these need to find a home. So I think these could go here. This is a Glossier lip gloss. This is really old. I just need to get rid of that. Oh, we have another <laughs> Morphe gloss. Shoot, and another one. I have some other Alomar glosses. Let me see what shades I have. The Il Maquillage lip glosses I will put here. This next one is really pretty, so I'll put that there. I also have these next ones that I bought. I think there's one more maybe. Yeah, these three, these are the, this is Milky Gloss. I have these With Love Cosmetics glosses, which are so pretty, and an ABH gloss. Dominique Cosmetics. I have all these Buxom ones, which I have to go through, um, and I also have some more Buxom ones here. I have this little mini lip maximizer from Dior that I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of. And then uh, the rest of my glosses are Fenty, which I'm not getting rid of any Fenty glosses, besides these little mini Laura Mercier ones, which I might just kind of toss in the back right there. So everything fits in here besides my Fenty glosses, which like I said, they just don't fit in the holes. Um, so this is complete. These are the glosses that I'm getting rid of. Um, not as many as I thought, but 
Um, I mean, everything fits, and there's still actually some empty spots, so that's good. So, these are all going to go. So, here is everything that I am decluttering. We have a ton of lip products, lip balms, liquid lipsticks, lipsticks, lip glosses, lip palettes, lip scrubs, all of that. So, that is everything that I'm decluttering. Let me show you guys the final drawers. So this first drawer here is lip balms. I love the way that this turned out. I feel like it looks so satisfying and colorful and pretty. The next drawer is lip glosses, which again, looks fantastic. They always wiggle <laughs> when I open the drawer. Oh my God, that scared me. My tripod just fell over. Um, but yeah, again, I think that this turned out really nice. I'm glad that all of my lip glosses fit in here other than the ones that were just like too chunky. Then we have my lipstick drawer, which is pretty empty, I feel like. And I have my little like lip pencils and stuff back there. And then the bottom drawer, well, the, this bottom drawer, I guess, <laughs> the last drawer that has anything in it, um, is my liquid lipsticks, my Morphe lip liners, and then my Fenty glosses back there. So those are all four of my lip drawers. Okay guys, so that is a wrap for part four. I hope you guys enjoyed my lip product declutter. If you did, don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. I love you all so, so much. Make sure you're subscribed so you can stay tuned for part five. I'm so excited. Anyway, I love you all so much. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next one. Bye.